Hello there. Hello. And how are you doing today? Oh, you are? I am so delighted to hear it. And me, you ask? I am doing very well because I have a special guest with me today. This is Father Ludovic. And guess what? He brought Italian weather and temperature with him. What are we today? We're right now 26 degrees in England yet. We are having wonderful weather because he brought it from Verona, Verona, Verona in Italia. So, welcome. Benvenuti. Thank you. We're Thank glad you. to have you here. You made quite a trip to get here. You went to Bergamo and yes. you took... What airline did you take? Ryanair. Ryanair. Ryanair 186? No, it was 3219. Oh, oh, well, you can't all travel by Ryanair 186. But anyway, we're glad you made it. And you went from Bergamo to Manchester. Yes. And then train to here. So we're very glad that you're here. You made it. Now, of course, you're not from Italy. You, you just work and, uh, in the diocese there. Where are you from? I am from Transylvania. <coughs> oh, well. <clears throat> Let me cover my throat. <laughs> I think I need to uh, put something here. What do you think? Ha! No, we're just joking. He is from Romania, yes, the northern part that is called Transylvania, but you are ethnically Hungarian, yes? Yes, I'm Hungarian. You're Hungarian. And you went to Italy because you went to study, is that yes, correct? Yes, I made studies in Rome. In Rome. And you just recently made your PhD, yes? Yes. Ah, il dottore, dottore Ludovic. Oh. It's got a nice sound to it, don't you think? I think it's wonderful. Well, we're glad that you're here. But you know what the bad news is? We're now both in quarantine again. He has to remain in quarantine for how many days? Ten days. Ten days. And he has to send tests. He has to make tests on second day which is today, today and you have to make it on the eighth day yes yes ah oh. well anyway so since he is staying here he can't go out so that means i cannot go out either so i am back in quarantine once again oh dear but we may be in quarantine but we don't have to remain here we can escape and we have a plan to escape. And this was suggested by MN Pilot 737 Sim. And he said, please do Alborg to Copenhagen. He said, he really wants to be a pilot and he is from Denmark. So today we are going to escape to Denmark. What do you think of that? Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Have you compiled the passenger locator form for this travel? Oh, no, no, no. But we're escaping. We don't need those forms. And besides which, we are Ryanair 186. You will be assimilated. Resistance is futile with Ryanair. <laughs> anyway. MN Pilot 737 Sim is not the only one who likes to fly and wants to be a pilot. Sky Dragon also wrote and said he wants to be a pilot too. So, for both of you, today we are going to fly over Denmark. It's a short run, 
It's not far, so that means we will be kept busy between the two ports. Aalborg is a beautiful scenery and it is made by Sim Nord. And Copenhagen scenery was made by Fly Tampa. Both are very detailed sceneries, which you'll get to see in just a moment. Now, we did a little bit of research and we found that Norwegian Air Shuttle flies between the two points. So we are going to be following that same route. It is DY3089. That's the flight number. If you want to go into FlightAware and put in NAX3089, that will bring up Norwegian Air Shuttle and the exact flight that we're going to take. So, you are going to be captain today. You'll be flying and I will be riding in the first officer's seat, perhaps snoozing, perhaps looking out, playing tourist, but you will be doing all the work. How do you feel? Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. Good. You've traveled a long way. You've done Ryanair. Now you do the real Ryanair. <laughs> I'm waiting. You're waiting. So let's do the flight preparation first. So let's go ahead and have a look at uh, FlightAware, Windy.com, and then we'll make our flight plan. Are you ready? Come and join us. Here we are on flightaware.com. We've looked up Norwegian Air Shuttle 3089 and there you can see the airline and flight code and it is flight DY3089. This is yesterday's flight. They departed from gate A14 or it arrived at gate A14 and left from gate A3 according to this. Short flight, short flight. And the information that they've got here, taxi time at Aalborg was 12 minutes and taxi time at the arrival in Copenhagen was six minutes. So that's where quite a bit of fuel gets burned up. Oh, by the way, Sky Dragon, those are some of the calculations that you will need to put in for your flight. It's not just the time you're in the air, but it's also the taxi time that you have to add in for fuel. Now, looking here at the profile of their flight, let's have a look and see what the altitude was. Ah, they flew at 21,000 feet. We'll probably get the same one. And the actual distance is 149 nautical miles. That's the actual flight distance that they used. Now, having a look at windy.com. And here we are at EKYT, which is Aalborg. And you can see that the wind is coming across here and sweeping towards the northeast. It says the visibility is VFR. So, they're reporting wind at 240 degrees at 6 knots, varying between 220 and 290. Visibility is 10 kilometers or more, so no problems. They're reporting no clouds. So, total VFR. Temperature 21 Celsius, dew point 14, and the Q&H 1019. So, the pressure is high in the area. Now on the runways, this is the map of the runway. Let's see, what would you guess if we were to say which runway we would be departing from? Would we be from 26 or from 8? What do you think? Mm. 26 is your bet? Yes, 26 is my bet. Yeah, there are two runways here and We'll have to see which one we get assigned once we contact ATC. Now, a look at our destination. Here is Copenhagen. Winds are quite, quite strong there. 
Wind is 220 degrees, five knots varying between 170 and 270. Visibility, 10 kilometers. There's a few clouds at 4,100 feet. Temperature is a warm 20 degrees. We are actually warmer here in England than they are in Denmark. Q&H 1020, so it's the higher air pressure there. And runway information, looking at the airport, here's the airport. It's uh, a big airport, look at the size of that. And the number of runways. Well, my guess would be 22. 22 right or 22 left. We'll have to see which one they give us. All right, now let's go on over to Simbrief and let's make ourselves a flight plan. So we are Ryanair, we are flight 186, we are going to depart from EKYT e and we're going to go to EKCH. They've given us an alternate in Germany, that's one of the German airports that's close by. We are Ryanair 186, there's our tail number E-I-E-N-I, -E profile 6, and it says the scheduled flight time is one hour. Ah, they have given us 26 rights for departure and 22 rights for arrival. There's the taxi out and there's the taxi in. They're allowing 20 minutes for taxi out and eight minutes for the taxi in. We are passengers, we are full. We have one ton of very precious cargo. Champagne, caviar, all the posh stuff. And down here, let's look at the route. Well, this right here is what they are showing us. Down here, this is the route that they're showing, so let me just zoom out a little bit here. So here you can see the departure, there's the arrival, and should things go pear-shaped, they want us to go all the way down here to EDDP. That's quite a long run. To Dresden. Yes. So we're going to be carrying quite a bit of extra fuel for the reserves on that. All right, now let's go back up to the top. Let's save the flights. Saved. Generate the flight plan and let's see what it brings us up. Let's see if we get flight level 210 just like they did. Oh! We are at flight level 230. Okay, not bad. They're giving us an airtime of 44 minutes. Here's the block fuel, 7,024 kilograms. By the way, you see uh, the airtime is 44 minutes, but we will have tailwinds, so we'll be less. That's right with tailwinds between Aalborg and Copenhagen, and since we're flying with the air, uh, that air time will actually be less, even though we will be flying at the same speed that we would in the air, we will be covering the ground faster. So, that works for our advantage. So, less fuel. And here it is, there's the flight plan. Now I'm just going to go down here and start to look at the charts. So here we go. Yeah, you can see the reserves, big reserves. Look at that. Because of that long distance, four tons of fuel we're going to carry here in order to have reserve. That is a big reserve. If we had an airport that was closer, then that would be a lot, lot lighter because four tons has to be flown and the power of the engines has to take it. So, oh, all right, we'll go down here to have a look at the weather profiles and see what it brings us. 
no significant weather. It would have shown significant weather if there had been there. There's no frontal movements at all. There you can see the wind at flight level 180. Tailwind. Not bad, not bad at all. And here is the flight level 240, which is what we will be almost at. And again, you can see we have tailwinds. I like tailwinds. And here is our profile. Here's where we start, it is down here. We climb up, there's the top of climb at 23,000, and then the long descent into Copenhagen. This dotted line at the top is the troposphere, so we won't be anywhere near that. Okay, we're all ready to go ahead and go into Navigraph and bring in the charts. Right, the first thing that we do, we click on flights, we make new flight, we choose from Simbrief, and here's the latest flight that we made, so we bring that in. And there is our entire route, just that quick. Now, in order to fill in the charts that we're going to need across the bottom for access, I'll right click on that, left click on open charts, I'm going to bring in the airport info and put that in there. Those are the only two that we need. Let's see, there are no SIDs for Alborg, none at all. So we just need the airport information. Let's have a look at that. And there it is. Everything that we need is all there. But let's see if we can find the detail there's the parking and there's the coordinates. So we are going to need these to put into the FMC. So we've got those in. Now let's go over to Copenhagen, open the charts, go to taxi, we'll bring in the airport, parking stands, we'll go into the approach now, we were given 22 right for the uh, arrival. So let's see what that is. We're going to put an overlay on that. So that will bring us in on this one, which would be the closest one. So that's the one that we will add. We'll pin that to the bottom. Runway 22 right. For the stars, uh, it is TESP2C. Now I'm going to click on that, show the overlay, and that's the basic information. And I'm going to pin that also to the bottom. You see all of the charts that are all being added? Now, Going back to the ILS DME, here we've got a dotted line that takes us straight to the center of the airport. But how are we going to get to the final? Well, we'll click on approach. We are ILS runway two to right. Click on that and we're going to click on final. And then that brings this directly up into here. We will make the turn and come down on the final at that point. Now, zooming in, I want to show you one other thing here, because this is what we will do in the FMC. It's a little trick to make the turn much more easy, so it's not such a steep turn. I mean, if we went in on this, we would have to make a really steep turn to get onto the final. It would be better, however, if we were out here somewhere. So we made our approach here, then made a small turn here, 
and then join the final at that point with a very gentle turn. Now, Sky Dragon, pay attention because this is one of the little tricks of the trade that pilots use for the FMC. And we will do this when we get in the cockpit. So, are you ready, Captain? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. In that case, we have everything set, so let's go and crank up Ryanair 186. Hello, Captain. How are Hello. you doing? Thank you. Fine. I, I have checked everything on the outside. I've checked the fuselage. I've done the tires. I've washed the windows, honest. So, and I've also got the fuel on board, so everything is ready to go. So, what would you like to do first? So, you are, we are able to do this holiday flight. We are able to do this Watch holiday flight. how I, I'm dressed. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, we're in shorts. Oh, and that's because you brought Italian sunshine with you to Britain. Yes. But we're not in Britain though right now, are we? No. Where are we? We are the Elborg Airport in Denmark. Ah, and we're at stand number five. Yeah. Number five. Okay, so we turn on the power battery and put on the fuel pumps. And we start the APU. And we're going to be watching for this coming up. Ah, the EG is moving up. In a moment it'll come back down, settle down. And once the blue light comes on, then you can switch from battery and go to auxiliary power. And then. There it is, that and that. And look up here, we have 115 volts. Yes. Okay, so. let's put on the nav. I will align the nav and you can switch the pitot, the window heat. Well, let's do the galley first because we need to make sure we can get some tea. We've we got the emergency lights, they are on. No smoking, fasten seat belts. And there's the window heats. Probes are now on. Auxiliary fuel pumps are on. APU bleed is now on and there's the rush of the air conditioning ah good. good we are now set everything looks good across the board yes so we're now to ready to put in our position so we are the airport airport which is e k e and we're at gate five, five. And then we and check the position. Yes. We check the position. Is that it one? is correct. It's correct. All right. Well, on course. Go to root origin. Origin. Echo kilo for Yankee. Yankee Tango. Tango. Okay. And destination Copper. Echo kilo Charlie Copper. And we're Ryanair. Are you sure? Yeah, Ryanair 186. Resistance is futile. And how you are sure that you are a Ryanair 186? Because our passenger already drinking the champagne and caviar. Always. Next page, and let's put in the route. So we're direct to AAL. And then we're on Tango 551. To Tespi, T E S P I, and that is it. It's a very short, route very today. short route. Activate and execute. Good. Now we go to depart arrival. We're departing from 26 right. 26 right. Which is that one and exit because we have not standard in the park. There is no as since for this airport. Okay, but an arrival, where are we arriving on? 22 right. 22 right. Which is the next page. Yes, ELS approach. 22. And we are the Tespi 2C. That's it. And execute. 
Now we go to uh, fix and we go to what is it? Our destination. And we do slash four, slash 10, and slash 30. Those are the circles that we put around. Good, now we go to descent, forecast, and we put in 200, 150, and 100. Good. And what is the Q and H for our destination? One zero two zero. One zero two zero. Second one down. That's it. For two hundred, I have three one seven slash five five. That one. I have nine slash five. And then three four. Slash slash five. Five. And execute that. Now let's go to legs and let's check the setting for the legs. There we go. And step. Now, this is where we make that change that CI22R, so put in, that's it. Now, that's about 310 degrees, isn't it? Yes. So 310 and slash four for four miles. And now put that at the top and then bring the C122 up next to it. And then put the first one in memory, put the first one in memory good and then go previous page and put it over the top of vector execute now let's go through these steps and see what that does to our route ah see how nicely curved that approaches now directly into the final yes so our passengers will not lose not one drop of fine champagne. Okay, we have that on. So let's go ahead and you'll use the weather radar. I'll use the terrain. What is our uh, heading course for departure? So I'm going to put 260 in here. That's our heading course. Two six zero. Okay. Now I've already I put the flight altitude in as flight level two three zero. The landing altitude is zero because what is the uh, destination landing altitude? It's fourteen feet. So that fourteen is near enough zero. to zero. So when we open the door there will be no big pops of ears as we depressurize. All right, we can put the, um, let's put the flight trim on and check that it comes off, the light goes off, the light yes. is good. All right, we are looking good. Now, the next thing we need to check is make sure that we're good across the board we are now set. So I've got steady on there and we've got anti-collision light is on. So our planned fuel we have reserves of 4,098. We have taxi trip of 2,248. That comes to 6,346. So, so that makes 6.3. And that is the plan. And then Reserves are 4.1. Fuel weight, good. Cost index is 6. We are cruise altitude 230. Our cruise wind is on page 2. 
three two two and six slash slash six. Good, we're on that, so execute that. Go to n one limit slash two three because we're not going to do any problems with that. Take off. Our runway is eight thousand feet, so we'll go ten flaps. Center of gravity, double click, and then B1, we rotate and so I did put the V2 speed which is one four six. Okay. I have it. I have good. It now we'll check that to see if it's a good plan that we have. Notice I did yours first and mine second because yours is the command. Yeah. That and we have good. So we put that on, put this on, and that. Now we need destination localizer is 110.9. So 110 is active. Eight is to put into this one is 122.75. We're turning on the transponder is good. We are now set to ask for Taxi to the act. On board ground, Ryanair 186 with Mike. Request taxi for takeoff north departure. Ryanair 186. Well, we'll go south. To an old shorter runway 26 right using taxiway. Charlie Alpha contact tower on 118.3 when ready. And taxi to an old short runway 26 right using taxiway. Charlie Alpha Ryanair 186. Right, now we need to go in and put the Go ahead and go to menu, FS actions, and push back. And now, which, where do we need to turn the nose? To the left. To the left. So you need to push that. Left. A good 90 degrees should do it. And then select the tug. Push. Push the tug. The tug. Good. That's the tug. Now we can push the start. Cut the ground. Go ahead. We've been cleared for push and start. Tail to the right. Copy that. Ready for push. Tail right. Release brake release. Brake release. Brakes okay. released. Once we start to move, which engine are you going to start first today? The two. Second Number, engine. The second engine. All right, just one moment. Let us get a start first. Brakes released. Here we go. So. Okay, going um, to engine number two. The start valve has opened on two. So air conditioning is off. It's building when it gets to 24. And fuel in. Start engine on board. And we're moving back all right, yes. We're making the turn, making sure that the camera cars is don't have us in their sights. Ah, we can hear the engines now. There, we've got it, it's fired up. And we'll look for 115 volts from number two. We've okay, got it. Smooth, so I saw the Start engine number, number one. Parking brake is on. Brake set. Set to RTO, flaps going to 10. All right, steering pin is disconnected. Watch for the slip release from guidance on your left. Have a good flight. Verify the um, go to route, route, take off. Verify. Has it changed? Okay. 
this time. And now go to legs. And we have 115 coming up. There's the engine firing. We've got a good start. We have 115 volts on number one. So switch now both of those to the main engines. I'll turn off the APU bleed, turn on the air conditioning, and now turn off the APU. We're now running on the main engines. So taxi lights, three, one, two, three. The white to give us that uh, indication. All lights up, do cross check. Cross check is complete. We are ready to taxi to the active. So, break off. Breakers. Apply a little power to get unstuck. And gentle on the yoke. Bring it back to about 24. That's usually sufficient to keep us in motion. the route that they gave us to get to the active? C, A. C, C and A. C and A or H? A. Oh, Alpha. Right, okay. So we have to go down their runway, okay? Showing flaps 10, green light, RTO is check, fuel check, bugs all check. Yes, we have.
tight turn they give us there. And now we go to Alpha and then we turn left on Alpha. Right, Bombardier, X-ray, Golf, Kilo. The 
something coming in so he's that there. I see it. You see him? Those lights. Oh yes, there he is. Yeah. We have two. There are two there. We have a bombardier. And we're gonna have to wait till they clear the runway before we can move into position, but we're all set. Everything is is in position. Yeah, here they are, they're coming in now. So, we can see from the cockpit a nice landing. A uh, nice landing, yes, coming in. Hey Sky Dragon, if you're listening. Oh, they've just made one go around. He's going around. Yeah, it's a little moony, look at that. Nice. Yeah, there he goes. Got a nice flare, and oh, that was a little hard. Ooh, ouch, 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 ooh. I felt that one, and I wasn't sitting in it. <laughs>
come up on the left hand side of your tape. It says rep 40 slash 140. Yes. And now we're swinging on to our course going to the south. So we need to put in zero nine zero. No, on this one, zero nine zero. Not that one.
155 indicating will go to 150. Make sure that we don't interfere with that aircraft. Oh, was he given a go around? Yes, he was. We are we're good to land. We have the runway in sight.
go back then on our course to make another approach. Okay. Open arm in the head.
attendance secure again. 
look at the swinging radar there. That you even got that. It's full active. Another plane on approach. Oh no. yeah. Talk about busy. Woo. Well, do you feel better at the fact that uh, we had uh, number three on there? You would not have made it with number one. <laughs> because it was a short landing. Yes. But you had, this was a short field performance package, so it's capable of doing that. Caster Tower, Pacific 1594, ready for IFR departure, runway 22 two left. Pacific 1594, cleared for takeoff, runway 22 two left. Cleared for takeoff, runway 22 two left, Pacific 1594. to be 
be that pilot if he's going to get some tickets from the tower.
Watch out for the kamikazes. Look at them. And, and then move to the left. There's A21, 20, 22, 23, and 24 is over there. So swing around here and we'll move into A24, which is the one I believe that they used. And here coming up A22, so we go to there's A23. It's the next one. Those is 25. Ah. Okay, this uh, I think it's, it's a swing around. It's you go in a hard right. Hard right. Hard right. Yeah, you see it's an angle. It's an angle one. It's not a straight in, it's an angle. See, the line is there, diagonal. I'm interested to find out whether or not this actually is animated here for the controller. Cleanup is complete, engines are shutting down, and okay, fuel up. Let's open up the doors and let down the stairs. You can hear the stairs now going out. Oh, yeah. I adjusted the volume on that to allow us to make sure that we could do that. And even I can see it. Oh, oh brilliant. Well. And now they're all getting off. Good. And, okay, so fuel off, APU off, and battery off. And shutdown is complete. We have arrived. Well done. You did very well having to do your first landing in this with a go-around. That was something else. Usually, they're not as bad. But you, you got, you did this. You did this very well, very well. What do you think, everybody? He did good, didn't he? I thought so. Yes. Right. Um, well, I hope that you, we did all right for you. Let's see. His name is what is seven three seven. No, M F. Sim 737 Sim. Yes. And I hope that we did all right and that we came up to your expected standards. And Sky Dragon, stay awake now because you're coming up next. All right. Thank you. Thank we'll you. See you the next time around. Bye. Whew.